hello smart money traders welcome back to the channel in this video i want to show you how to trade synthetic indices with ict concept a lot of you guys have actually asked me to make this video and i'm making this video so i can show you how to basically approach synthetic indices such as volatility index 75 volatility index 100 and step index all these indices that you want to trade with ict concept but there are some major key things you need to know if you're trading synthetic indices and these are some of the concept in ict that are very very important the first one is basically how to normally interpret order flow and then you need to have a basic understanding of market structure and you need to know what are the institutional reference points that synthetic indices really really respect so let's get into explaining these major key things you need to know before you can trade synthetic indices the first one is order flow order flow is basically understanding where price is going exactly as you can see here if you look at this you see from here to here we have a bearish order flow that is simply what an order flow means and from here to here you can see series of lower lows and lower highs which means this algorithm is pushing the market downward and if you have an upward order flow that is an uptrend it is basically going up in that direction so that is basically what an order flow is now we will couple what an order flow is with market structure market structure is basically when you see price actually breaking every single high or every single low that was created as price moved from one point to another what that means is that we have three market conditions we have the first one an uptrend which moves in an upward direction we have a downtrend then we have a consolidating market where you see market moves in one direction so these are the three major things you will always see the market do so let's start by sketching an example of an uptrend then we can do a downtrend with the market structure and then we can also talk about a ranging market when you see market moving something like this creating highs and you see something like this coming down creating another high you see market doing this this is basically what we call an uptrend because we can literally see a series of higher highs this is what we call a higher high this is another higher high and this is another higher high this is another higher high and then likewise this is another higher high as you see market do do this time and again you will understand that market is moving up and this is a higher low another higher low a higher low right here a higher low which means this high is lower than this high and this high is higher than this high as you keep seeing it now what we call a market structure is this entire movement we have an exact structure so every time we see price push from here okay and break above this level we can say we have a break of this structure okay price move from here to here create structure as it retraces into this structure that we see right here let me just make it like this something like this so you can see it clearly so as price comes back we have created a structure once we push outside this range we can say to have broken a structure and then right here when you see price comes to this place and have a break of structure at this point right here let me just give it to you at this point we also have a break of structure at this point because this structure is exactly something like this this range let me just adjust it so you can see at this particular range I hope I get that correctly. This video is going to take long because I want to make sure that I give you the basic, but I will continue more videos on synthetic indices for you so you can have a basic understanding of that. We have another structure broken right here. If you can see, market pushes above here. A break of structure, a break of structure at this point. So these are what we call an uptrend. When you see market do something like this you have an uptrend a downtrend is the exact opposite of this when you see market creates something like this you see pushing down having a retracement pushing down having a retracement pushing down having a retracement like this um, you can call this a downtrend a downtrend is different from an uptrend simply because we have a downward direction and when you see a lower high, this is a lower high, we call this a lower high, a lower high, a lower high, a lower high. This is a lower low, 
a lower low, a lower low, and a lower low. Okay, so when you see market pushes below here, we have broken a structure right here because we've created structure from here within this range to this place. As price breaks below it, we have a break of structure. Right here, another break of structure, which we can visibly see. I'm taking time to explain this so you cannot have difficulty in interpreting this break of structure. I will show you that practically when I come to the chart, you're gonna see how to literally view these things and have that. This is an example of an uptrend, and we will talk about break of structure clearly in that. These are the very basic things you need to know before you can trade synthetic indices with the ICT concept effectively, okay? So once you understand that, as price keeps moving, sometimes you can find an order block acting as a support level in an upward direction. When you see market moves in this direction, you're going to see a order block acting as the support in this level. Once we go to the chart, you're going to see what I mean by that. So a ranging market is basically when you see price actually behaving within two range. When we have a market like this, and then you see price actually acting like this, creating this movement. Let me make sure that I'm able to do this correctly. Price moving in this direction, upward, and then creating this kind of movement. Okay, you see price pushing even above it, and then creating this kind of movement. So once we see this, we call it a ranging market. The market is neither upward or downward. It is just moving in a consolidated state, okay? So these are the three market conditions you are expected to have if you want to learn market structure correctly. The next one is, of course, institutional reference points. We have almost seven of them. Let me quickly type them so you can see. So these are the institutional reference points that you want to pay attention to. You have to learn how to see a breakout block, a mitigation block, a favor lookup and order block these are important institutional reference points i wouldn't want to go into explaining this so as not to make this video too long but you can find in-depth tutorial on breaker blocks mitigation blocks fear value gaps on my youtube channel i even have them as a playlist simply come to my youtube come to playlist you're going to see a breaker block a mitigation block and then a breakup block right here all the videos are there there are some very important institutional reference points that you need to know about and if you know other block you know fear value gap we're going to continue with this let me just simply go to my mt5 and then i'm going to show you how to go about that this is the daily time frame so what i want you to learn is to understand order flow i don't want you to go into having too much data the highest time frame you want to use is the daily time frame so you cannot have too much data just get the daily time frame bias and then you're going to have the best order flow you want to learn so right here let's look at the most recent data right here Looking at this, you can see market has just pushed from here to here, from this level to this level, from the daily time frame. We're going to learn how to do market structure on VIX first, then we'll drop down and we'll go down to top-down analysis until when we see an entry, so you can have an understanding of how it works in a literal market. So this is MT5. I may not be able to do different drawings right here. But a downtrend can be seen right here. Let me just show you what a downtrend looks like. When you see something very clearly, let me just have an example of a very clear downtrend. So you can see most of the things I'm seeing are uptrends. Let's go and check if we can see. Okay, right here I see a very perfect example of a downtrend. Let's see this particular one, this area. Okay. So as price comes from here to this level, even push to this area, to this level, we're going to draw our market structure correctly from here to here. Okay. So we look at this swing from here to this level. So this is the low that price actually created. Okay. From here to here. So in identifying structure, you want to identify the lowest level, which is this level, as where the structure is. While if you want to see this structure has been broken, you want to see that this low has been completely traded through by the body of the candle, like the one you can see here. Okay, as price pushed from here to here, this was the low that price created. And then you have this movement, this retracement, one, two, three, four. Okay, so from here, you can say this is the low and then 
this is the retracement and another push where we see this market structure being broken was exactly from this particular candle let me expand it a bit so you can see what i'm saying this particular candle can you see the body of the candle actually pushed outside outside this level so this is where we had our break of structure okay so what next do we look out for as price came to this area it created this low this last low that price created after this retracement let me just adjust this a bit after this retracement push down here created this last low and price pushed to this level so this is our structure what we look out for from here is to wait for price to come and break this level with the body of the candle once we see the body of the candle push outside this we know that this structure has been broken by the way this is vix 75 volatility index 75 so this is a break of structure even if i'm not able to finish this in this video i will do the rest in another video i'll put them in a playlist okay so from here to here we have a break of structure to this level and then we've created another structure right here can you see the low here did we have a break of structure here yes we have a break of structure and then where did we see another low this is it's tempting but this is not a low the next low is this place this particular place can you see this is the lowest level we just take our drawing tool and see if the body of the candle has traded through this low so we can say that we have a break of structure so this is a break of structure so as price keeps going down like this we are in a downtrend and then don't forget the highest level as price comes back and takes the highest level anytime price comes back to take this highest level we can say that we have a change in market direction from this downtrend we will look at this level from here to here once we see price traded above it we can say this market has turned to an uptrend okay from here we'll just mark the highest level and that will be our benchmark so this is an uptrend and then we keep seeing until when we take out this low we have not turned to a downtrend in this regard okay so let me show you an example of an uptrend in this regard this is an uptrend from here to here where did the uptrend started can you see this is a break of structure right here at this level and then since from this place we have another break of structure right here this one is a break of structure too breaking this lowest level then we're going to focus now majorly on this high this high so until we take out this high we are not in an uptrend so we will mark this high and see if price will actually take it out yes price have traded through it from this candle so now we are in an uptrend so we we'll look at this and then we will push to this level this is a break of structure another break of structure here yes a break of structure this is not like trading view drawing here is a bit difficult that is why i'm still finding difficulty to this level this is also a break of structure as small as it is then this is a break of structure where is the lowest level this time around this is the lowest level we want to see price take out before we can say we have turned to a downtrend so from here we'll just mark out this level and see where price have taken out at this point we have turned to a downtrend so i hope you've seen how these things work a consolidating market is basically when the market is just within a range something like this let me show you this can you see this range and this place so in between this we have market just behaving like this so let's look at how to do a top-down analysis on this understanding of market structure now once we go back to the most recent data anytime you come to this chart what you should look out for is to look out for the most recent data okay now this is our most recent data right here so this is where we're going to look at i know exactly what to do once we are able to see this most recent data we'll now look at this and do our market structure delineation from there so from here we can see this is a major downtrend from here we have a break of structure at this point this level a break of structure at this point so if you're trading this what you do is that 
you look out for institutional reference points basically that's what the market does but let me even show you from here can you see this movement if you can see this movement from here we have a change of market direction or shift in market structure and price came back to this level as price is coming back what you should look out for as you see this this is a breaker movement can you see if you learn how a breaker looks like you're going to learn this properly a breaker is simply when you see market push like this and have a retracement and then quickly push below and take liquidity here and then pushing up above this place now once you've taken out this level this is the breaker the last bullish candle that price printed here in this regard we call it a bullish breaker block because as price comes back it is going to just react from here please watch those videos for you to learn breaker block properly as price comes here we expect to take trade from there so from here as you see price came to this level pushed above and then take liquidity below here rather before pushing up as price came back this is your breaker block right here this last bullish candle is your breaker block so as price came back and hit this and then it kept on moving so this is basically how to look at this in this perspective but from the most recent data we're going to look at this area as we see this break of structure will drop down to the four hour time frame and see what is happening from there we know mind you from the daily time frame we know that we are in a bearish order flow from here we drop down to the four hour time frame where we're going to make our trading decisions while you're watching that you are also going to delineate this from the four hour time frame look at this and then make your drawing from here to here break of structure okay a break of structure now you're aligning your higher time frame with the lower time frame okay this is a break of structure this is an order block right here an order block right here okay and then a fair value gap right here in between this line a fair value gap here too right here so as price comes back to this area look at how price respected this fair value gap this fair value gap right here now for you to get an entry in this kind of regard you can also go down to the one hour time frame and look at how that is going to be so as price is coming remember our perfect entry technique as price is coming back you're going to measure the rhythm of the market the bigger time frame formation is telling you something like this let me show you the bigger time frame is telling you a bearish movement from here to here as the retracement is coming you're going to measure this rhythm and see how price is behaving now once price takes out this last low you want to wait for it to come back to either an order block or a fair value gap before you take a trade from there so as price comes back you're going to measure the rhythm of that market so look at this as price is coming back at this retracement and look at this price actually broke structure right here let me just show you this properly a break of structure right here the body of the candles have traded through this level so this is a clear break of structure that everyone can see so now what do you do you wait for price to come back to an institutional reference point okay so look at this is your entry as price comes back so this is an entry in the one hour time frame you can even go down to the 15 minute time frame and have a better entry if you want to have that you can see market having this movement let me just reduce that as market is coming push push came down push had this retracement push look at this a major turn in market direction and then this is your entry into this favor value gap let me show you this favor value gap right here let me change the color of this so you can see i'm just taking time to explain this so you can learn how these things work in the 15 minute time frame this is your entry this fair value gap just your normal ultimate trade entry strategy i've taught i'm going to show you the video is here if you want to watch the video you can simply come here i hope it is here the ultimate trade entry my secret trade entry confirmation this is it this video you need to watch it for you to get this properly so as price is retracing back into this area take out this level as price came back to this fair value gap this is your entry this is mt5 is unlike trading view i could have shown you better things so that is how to look at this now if you're using the four hour time frame to measure movement you're going to always pay attention to that kind of movement okay 
i hope you're watching this and you're learning how this entry came about so the way volatility index or the synthetic indices works is that you don't have to worry yourself about sessions or news or whatever is a disadvantage to other forex or other asset traders all you have to do here is to just trade what the rhythm of the market is giving you okay so if i go to the one hour assuming i want to trade from here and i'm looking at this order flow from this regard just looking at this from this regard look at this let's just look at this entire market movement price came from here to here have a this retracement and this is where we see a complete break of structure at this point this is a break of structure guys what do you do you look out for an internal retracement into an internal range liquidity look at this area do we have a break of structure here or change of character no we do not have a change of character here but price is coming down to this area and then this is your order block this guy is your order block even though this trade did not give you an entry you're looking for look at what happened you will go down to the five minute or the 15 minute time frame and watch how the retracement came into that area before you can fall into trading this unknowingly remember this is where the higher time frame or the block is did you see any change of character here no so that means if you are taking this from the one hour blindly you are only taking it at your own risk as price is coming back to this area because you did not see any lower time frame change of character remember that video i told you to watch if you watch that video you're going to get everything i'm saying so as price is coming back you won't want to see how this is reacting even if you are going to the 15 minute to look for an order flow before you can take a trade you will use the same principle and the same formation so i will make more videos let me stop from here guys i'll make more videos on how to take a trade with volatility index but make sure you watch this particular video as soon as i close this i will make another video again explaining how to have an entry with volatility index and how to get the perfect entry that will give you the best trade using synthetic indices thank you guys for watching i don't want this video to go longer than this i'll make more videos explaining that thank you for watching see you in another video